from the YouTube don't you? This is week of the Daily Viewer, and now a man who advised Jerry Seinfeld to let his show be on syndication or be in syndication. Who cares? Ellie Cookie Mueller. Ha! Welcome to Week Nothing. I'm Ellie Cookie Mueller. What's up, my grasshoppers? <laughs> so, it's also one of the eight of this man is the Purple Nine. He used to be Nubby Nubby. And the Nerf 509 before it changed it back to the Nerf 509, whatever, with gameplays and vigilante videos and things like that, out of character animations, and the end show with reactions and things like that, with his IA team, with his, uh, with his podcast, and his discussions, and his reviews, and his rants, and everything else, led to his movies and things like that, Man of God with the thing covers, Michael Light Cast of the Time Michael Show, and Baby Down Creations with very interesting things. You know, why he paid tribute to Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, he paid tribute to Sesame Street, he paid tribute to all the uh, great shows. So, please check them all out. Tonight's topic is Jerry Seinfeld. Adam, you gotta listen to this, man. That's right, Jerry Seinfeld, he's still rich. His own son, his old Seinfeld show from the, uh, Early 90s, you remember that one? Yeah, it will be owned by Netflix next year. The UK, however, will stream it on its all four servers for the rest of this year. Are you sure about that? Yeah. Now, here's the thing, Adam, alright? On syndication, in syndication, Seinfeld is banking billions and billions of dollars a year. Alright. Alright. But of course, on the all four servers, it's going to be free, so. That was thing for uh, the Seinfeld uh, staff, huh? That would make sense. That would make sense. But here's the other thing. He now owns a Porsche 917. A Porsche 917. Yes. His former brother spiked first and helped him get it. Okay, and... Yeah. Well, being someone's writer actually pays off. Actually paid off. It's supposed to pay. You're getting paid for the job. Well, I'm starting to get the feeling that you really don't uh, get the opening remarks, do you? What do you mean? Well, earlier this week we recorded some uh, rejected opening remarks that I think that uh, people need to see. I mean, uh, check this out and you'll see what I mean. Look, look at this. Welcome to the Jerry Seinfeld Show. Now you will be talking about Jeremiah Seinfeld. Now, Jeremiah Seinfeld's hit show, Seinfeld, will be on Netflix next year, but the UK will stream it on the all four ser service. Wait, does Jeremy care about that? I don't know. Uh, he probably does. It's his can show. You can see he's from like, oh, ha ha. Uh, Seinfeld has a por has a Porsche Porsche whatever the fuck Porsche Porsche 917 now. Uh, he got it with the help of Spike Spike TV. No, oh, Spike Fishton. How about that? How about that? Even bosses need some help. The fuck? No, they, they, I'm guessing Spike was just like, hey bro, this car. Not bad. Uh, yeah, but it's a little bit too expensive. I'll give you a whole dollar if, 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 if you get a dollar bet. When will Jeremy Seinfeld be on this the show? Never! Ha ha! Back to the show! You know what I mean? The only thing that I have a problem with the rejected, um, with the opening remarks. Every uh, time we do this. Uh, I don't think so. I think it's perfect. Really? Let's see what you think about the top eight list. Let's do this. Let's see where we're at. Oh, 
Uh, no, 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 no. I bet things that Rary, Ryan, ah, Seinfeld will consider making jokes about. Number Ocho, armpits. Number seven, elephants. Number six, being sweat. Jesus. Number five, mud. Number four, come poopers. Number three, mud in your armpits. That's just fuck. Number two, taking a shower in the rain. And number one, slipping and sliding in the tub. With that, we turn to these commercials in tonight's bar and night. We shall return in a moment with some uh, random poetry and who knows what else. Hey, do you want to go out sometime? <laughs> Talk to the hand. Fucking rude. No, uh, uh, shoot, that never works. If television sets could talk, then they would tell us the shows they like to play. They all agree for viewing a light. They'd rather be tuned to this than night. I'd like to show you another terrific reason to buy your new carpeting from Empire. This is the new push-button telephone we're offering free with any carpet purchase during Empire's 25th anniversary celebration. So now you get good carpeting from 695 yard installed with padding, you get delivery in 72 hours, you get a credit plan with no installment payment for 60 days, and you get a free telephone with any order. So call us right now. 588 empire I got one for you, Ma. McDonald's invites you to be part of the U.S. Olympic team. He needs a perfect 10. When you play McDonald's when the U.S. wins, you win Olympic game. He approaches the handstand. When the U.S. wins a medal in the event on your game piece, you win too. Win a Big Mac, regular fries, or medium soft drink. Or you could instantly win Reebok sports gear or an RCA big screen television. He did it! And you can too, because when the U.S. wins, you win. The good time, great taste of McDonald's. Television sets could talk and they would tell us the shows they like to play. They all agree for viewing the light. They'd rather be tuned to this than night. I'd like to show you another terrific reason to buy your new carpeting from Empire. This is the new push-button telephone we're offering free with any carpet purchase during Empire's 25th anniversary celebration. So now you get good carpeting from 695 yard installed with padding, you get delivery in 72 hours, you get a credit plan with no installment payment for 60 days, and you get a free telephone with any order. So call us right now. 588 empire I got one for you, Ma. Welcome back, everybody. Well, it's time once again for something completely random. That's right. We're talking about some random poetry. Now, even though Michael Fikast wasn't seen in the original version of the sketch, or not, uh, even though he was seen in the original, I'm sorry. Even though Michael Fikast didn't help us, uh, you know, on uh, now on the show. Uh, you know, via the camera because, you know, he has been having some problems. You know, he still managed to help us uh, edit and uh, put this sketch together. So, ladies and gentlemen, watch the monitors. Here we go. Mm. 
ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Steve the Elephant. Wee, look at me. <laughs> go, Steve. Go, Steve. It's a good day. I get down. You know how I do it, Kung. Let's watch some random poetry. All I owe you is... <laughs> Random Poetry with Bob Richardson and Dave Passions. Jerry Seinfeld's on Netflix? Wow, that's cool! But we have to pay $800 to get in that pool. Dave, you think he'll be able to do this show? I'm pretty sure everyone needs to know. Bob, I tried to contact him, but he didn't respond. So it looks like he'll never will, Mr. Bond. My name's not James Bond, but I get what you mean. I think we better wrap this poem up before we bump Mr. Bean. I was thinking the same thing. Man, we have to go with the flow. Jerry Seinfeld, when will you appear on this show? Of course, this whole show reminds me of Seinfeld. Why? Well, this conversation was all about nothing. Well, let's just shut this thing down. I'm Bob Richardson. I'm Dave Passions. I'm Greg Stevenson. And I'm the Odd Man, reminding you to keep waiting to call me if you see Jerry Seinfeld on the streets. We need him to be a guest on the show. Good night and good morning, citizens. This has been Random Poetry. Now back to weeknight updates, Jerry Seinfeld Spectacular. Then stay tuned for the wee hours with Craig Knightley and Jerry Seinfeld. That's all coming up next on Nick at Night. Nick, Nick, Nick at Night is, Nick at Night is better than... A tax return! Oh, it burn. A making back! Oh. A shiny tag! An angry boss! Oh, some pickle floss! <laughs> it's Nick at Night all right at night! Nick at Night all right at night! Nick at Night all right at night! Nick at night, all right at night. Yes! That was a pretty good one. But now it's time for something that everybody loves. It's called the Talking Time segment. Or let's talk about whatever. Let's go. Let's talk about it. Ah, yes. In modern history, talking time has remained one of the most modern. How dare you? <laughs> talking time has ancient, ancient roots. Going back to 1808 BBC, before your, before your time, common era. That's a fact. Before you even knew there was a fact. Now let's talk about history. 1805 BBC. There were two alligators, and they wanted to talk, but they couldn't because they didn't have 8.08 8 a.m. free and I have a new morning or, 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 or night time. So, so they crafted, and they invented Minecraft, but then Minecraft wasn't enough to get them talking because Minecraft didn't have voices. Yes, voices. Then so they went to the ancient evil wizard of samurai lore. They got to the time, 1808 BBC, which was the magical time. They went to 808 AM PM, and they all went, Doctor, Doctor, in this match, in French, Doctor, Doctor, and all they gave was madness. And the evil wizard gave them what they needed, they gave them another language, and then they talked for the first time. Let's go, let's go, now. <clears throat> I told you about Jerry Seinfeld, now listen to this, okay? Netflix is going to take the rights of, Sel of, of, of Seinfeld next year, right? Seinfeld old. Yeah, I know, but people are still watching uh, Seinfeld. You know, it's still going on in syndication. Can you blame them? No, but listen, listen to this, right? Everybody from Seinfeld is making billions and billions of dollars a year. Billions? Yes. No. Yes. No. Yeah, Seinfeld is going right now. He has a swimming them. pool in the swimming pool. Not one of them has a billion dollars. Okay, close enough, but all four, Channel 4 streaming service in the UK is going to stream, mm -hmm. or, or it has, or, or it has been streaming every episode of Seinfeld on its all four uh, service, like I said, until the end of this year. Okay. Netflix is where the show is going to be on starting next year. Hey, 
time pal is like, hey, money! Right. This is crazy, isn't it? Just a little bit, just a little bit. Yeah, but you know what time is all about? What? And this is what uh, everybody uh, on the on the show was. all about the theme. Bow, 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 bow. Yeah. What? But here's the other thing, all right? It's a show about nothing. How? You know, it's just people who are living their lives and things like that, right? Okay. You know, you know how rare it is nowadays for a show to be about nothing. Especially this show. It's, it's about nothing but random shit. Right. Think, think, think about that ne next time you, you, you go to China. English! You guys think English? You guys are just part of the time the talking song, but I can't even speak it! How could I? Now that I can speak full English, French, and even French, bonjour. Um, uh, what do we just. What, 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 you're, you're mentioning that Seinfeld is kind of like this show. Yes. This show is about random shit going on. So we're like, okay, let's talk about it. Let's talk about that. Them, same thing. But the only thing is the stuff is happening to, to them. And they're like, ha, hey. And another thing, you know, it was the biggest show on NBC in the 90s. It was number one show in the history of show in NBC. And it lasted for nine years. It was going to go on for a tenth year. But Seinfeld said, nah, I'm good. I'm Seinfeld good. Seinfeld said, I'm sleepy, bro, so I, I'm just going to go bounce. Well, out. Now, here's what's interesting, right? Mm -hmm. Jerry Seinfeld has found a Porsche 917 on the used car lot, right? Okay. But he didn't just spot it at first. It was Spike first and his old rider who spotted the car while driving by one day and reached out to Seinfeld about going to check it out. Oh, so he didn't like pay pay or 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 what or whatever the fuck. Fair fair was like, Holy shit! Son of a bit! Zot Seinfeld get you out of the we we need to check this shit out. But, Man, what do you mean? Get over here! And then they went and checked this shit out. Yeah, nonetheless, Seinfeld wanted a race car in his collection. He didn't have any at the time. Okay. You know, but uh, here's the thing, right? But that was uh, after the dealer uh, invited Seinfeld and his friends to Willow Springs to see the 917 on track. Huh. And the dealer was. Let me see what. Well, it was uh, one of the cars uh, Steve McQueen used in his movie, Le Mans. Ooh. Quite fancy, if you ask is me. Is it huh? a real fun functioning car? or, or is Real one, it, yes. Or is it just a meme car, if you, if you all know what a meme car is? It's a, it's a real one, yes. Mm. Now, here's the thing. All right? What? Hilariously, one of the front wheels fell off while it was on the move. But after a week of negotiating, Sam, or after Seinfeld said that he wanted it, and after a week of negotiating, it was his. That's how it happens. That's how we do it in Mario Town. We talking and we talking like, hey, car, it's good car. Give me good car. And then, uh, and, and, and the other guy was like, good car, good, good price. Other guy, bad price, fifty million dollars. Get off line. I rip. And they go on and on until they finally settle on a small, small loan. Now, Adam, here's the thing. Two hundred thousand dollars per minute. Now, Adam, here's the thing. All right, Spike first, and you know, talk to Jerry Seinfeld into uh, checking the car out, right? Technically. Now, here's where everything comes full circle. Now, everybody at home, uh, stay with me here, okay? You know, when this show started. 11 years ago, one of the first things that we talked about was the cancellation of talk shows by press and how we wanted the show to come back, right? Mm-hmm. Well, since then, Spike Press had uh, a show about cars on television and a podcast about cars on the radio. Yes. Yes. So, 
You know what this means, Adam? What? This means that now this show today signifies that we have come full circle since then. How? Because we're talking about Seinfeld. What? Yeah, Spike first in the vote for Seinfeld. You vote for Seinfeld, okay. He, he didn't have a late night talk show on Fox. Talk which show? Was, uh, which was the network that uh, aired reruns of Seinfeld. Okay, what? Wrote Ro for him, talk show, what? Okay. They also did the B movie in 2007. B, B movie? Okay. What does that all mean, okay. exactly? Uh, the movie, uh, I talked to him and then he wrote for him. Um, according to my calculations, this, this makes no sense. Technically it does because we just, this whole time, we talked about Spike first and, and Gary Stein, well, you know, on and off, you know, in the early days. But we didn't know that until now. If we have, yeah. Each show of the show is dedicated to one thing. How the fuck do you talk about a person in a dedicated show? Every show is dedicated to one fucking thing or a couple fucking things. How the hell do we not know that we're talking about? Hmm? How? How? I don't know. Well, we've been, uh, I don't know. It's just that uh, when you're doing the show for 11 years, sometimes you, uh, you get confused. That's all. I'm about to throw You can back that. Alright folks, that is the show for tonight. My thanks to everybody who was involved in this uh, program. Please stay tuned for the ending experiment. You know, because it's really good. You know, we put a lot of effort into this, uh, into what you're about to see. And, trust me, it is really, really good. In the meantime, you know, after you're done with the experiment, enjoy the rest of the weekend. We'll see you back here. On Monday, that's the news. I'm out, please. Bro, 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 bro. Greetings, I'm the odd man. Jerry Seinfeld couldn't make this show because he doesn't know what this is. So, we decided to do this instead. Please enjoy. We hope that this will show everyone up during these tough times. You know your weekend wouldn't be complete without them. It's time for the ending experiments. And now, it's time for a musical montage. This song came into uh, prominence during the first season of SpongeBob SquarePants. Can you uh, remember this one? Or do you remember this one? some jazz to spice up your weekend a little bit, huh? Well, here you go.
time to get your randomness going. That's right, it's Random Thoughts with George Thompson. Good morning, we're back with some more Random Thoughts. Today we're talking about Jerry Seinfeld, who, believe it or not, is going to get richer. You know why? Because this hit show, Seinfeld, is going to be airing on Channel 4's streaming service, United Kingdom, until Netflix takes it down. This is crazy. This man made millions off of it. He got a Porsche 917, not a 911, a 917, who might have mentioned his former producer, Scott, who also had a night show on Fox for three years in the early 2000s, helped him find it. And believe it or not, that show, um, he doesn't have a host anymore, so who replaced him? I don't really know. Also... That was pretty cool. Uh, I think that was Dance or uh, Burn My Mind. Not really sure. Um, Mr. Thompson, your time is about up. Nick at Night doesn't want to wait until 3.30 to get the wee hours with Craig Knightley on the air, and you have already wasted about a minute and a half of everybody's time. Well, I'm sorry. I am. I'm truly sorry. Um, well, with that being the case, I, um, I, I, I gotta go. Um, I've been told by the man. Uh, I will see you guys next week with some more Random Thoughts. See everyone. That was your randomness for tonight. That was Random Thoughts with George Thompson. Great work, George Thompson. However, a talk show host that you were referring to was Spike Ferriston. He did a show on Fox entitled Talk Show with Spike Ferriston. You know, and he was replaced by Wanda Sykes. But just like you, yeah, I know. I was confused about the whole thing, too. Well, what can you do? Warning, what you're about to see is something completely random and insane. Well, we apologize in advance for what you're about to see, but, eh, what can you do? At any rate, enjoy your weekend, and we'll see you on Monday. By the way, I have uh, new uh, small drug club trays, and sometimes you're going to hear me speak uh, like this. And I am truly sorry about that as well. Alright, with that being said, enjoy the weekend, and thank you so much. Words that can be used to describe what's the name. Very Alright. Number 18.5. It's funny, I guess. Number 12.334, awkward. Number 1.5.6.7, silly. Number, I forgot how, how to count because I failed gra grammar school. Free. Free? Fierce. Free. Free. Number 18.5.39.E, rich. Number, odd. Odd. Yes, n number odd is odd. I know. This stinks. Okay, great. But let the question for whoever it may be. Who the fuck is fine to say some god? Why should Jerry Seinfeld watch this show? Hey, Spike Pearson is watching this show, right? I mean, come on. It's awkward. Seinfeld's age a lot. But this show will always be here. And what else are you going to find a like this show? I'll wait. Come on, answer me. What's up with Jeremiah Seinfeld, Jeremiah June, Ju, Jr. Long name, just call him Sini Seinfeld for short. He did a M, he did an NBC show, NBC, and he's online now. It be like that. He stopped doing comedy in the past. You know, uh, back in the late 90s, early 2000s. Yes, my verbal dictionary, thank you. Um, but he is still doing some stuff. Yes, that's how, that's how Mafia works. He refused to take Spike Ferguson advice on who to help get on late night. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Or how, I'm pretty sure... 
Mr. Cine Seinfeld doesn't even have connections, but okay. Okay. Uh, late night TV. But he got a new car because of him. Spike Ferriston, by the way. Yes, yes, yes. Of course. Mr. Spike Fergie. Um, Ferriston. We, uh, we helped him out a long time ago, didn't we? Come on now. I will call him Fergie. I'll call him Fergie's son. I'll, I'll call him Fergie with the Bergie. Mm -hmm. He's not Ferguson, he's Ferriston. Oh. Get your word. <laughs> ah, XD. You know, when you can't read, it's a hard, hard life. Well, you're pulling this on. Uh, I'm going to say exactly what this, group, what this group says. Because of him. Really? You're playing this on us? Mm -hmm. That's how it is, yep. Yes. Mm. You know, it's, okay, everybody knows this show Seinfeld, right? Yeah. You know, it's a very big show in the 90s, right? But mm -hmm. not, not a lot of people know that this show and Seinfeld are pretty much the same. Take a look at these, okay? Listen to this. Seinfeld is a show about nothing. This show is about nothing. Seinfeld wasn't popular at first. It wasn't popular. This show is not too popular right now. Seinfeld had good jokes, and this show pretty much had, has at least two funny jokes a night. It's true. Mm -hmm. What do we learn about Jerry Seinfeld? His old show uh, still has love from the streaming kids. His old writers still care about him. He's still rich, and he'll never try to watch the show. Come on, it's true. Now go to the stream. Take away my house and car. You can have my VCR. Leave that 12-inch black and white so I can watch my Nick at Night. Nick at Night. It's all you need.